All right, so I'm gonna start with a. I'm gonna start with trumpet. I think trumpet is A tier. Yeah, trumpet is A tier for a few reasons. Whenever you have like a really epic section in an orchestra, the trumpets usually are like the headliners, you know, and they they really do a great job. Uh, solo by themselves, trumpet is not like the most beautiful sound. But then when it's in like a big brass section, and then you know you need that fanfare, then the trumpets really really make make it shine you know so i think trumpet is is an a tier <laughs> trumpets in b flat so it should be in b tier i don't i don't think that logic holds <laughs> all right accordion accordion i'm gonna put on e tier um <laughs> the reason why is because i think accordion is a little bit cheesy of a of a of an instrument you know it's it's always got like that pirates Yar, I matey vibe, and uh, Irish jig kind of vibe. So, <laughs> so yeah, I think accordion is like kind of meh. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> it's definitely not anything above D tier. <laughs> it's not even a real instrument. <laughs> okay, bassoon. Uh, bassoon I would say is also A tier. Okay. And the reason why is because um, I think that like bassoon has that great, beautiful sound when you need like that kind of like lower woodwind sound. Bassoon fills that uh, fills that role really well. So I would okay, I would say high B tier actually, because it's not like the best, you know. Uh, it is really beautiful, you know. I don't know. Uh, I'm, okay, we'll keep it in B right now. But if there is like other stuff that like makes you know, bassoon is like clearly above bassoon, then or clearly below bassoon, then I'm gonna move bassoon up. All right, bass guitar. Um, this is like a D tier instrument in my opinion. Um, <laughs> bass guitar is like one of those instruments where um, you don't really have a main function your main function i mean you sorry you do have a main function which is to pro provide the bass you know but you don't really do that much and in most types of music actually i you know they get replaced by like you know electronic bass which sounds just as good you know so the bass guitar in my opinion is a little bit outdated you know i mean when back when rock bands were a thing then bass guitar was like a big the the only provider of the bass, you know? But now with EDM and, you know, newer styles of music, newer sounds, you don't need the bass guitar anymore. Um, and then every time the bass, like every time someone's playing like a bass solo, it always sounds like complete garbage. And like, that's when like people go to the bathroom. <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's the bass guitar. Um, <laughs> bagpipes. That's another, uh, cheesy instrument but i'm gonna put it above the accordion because at least bagpipes is is like appropriate for like those graduations <laughs> so like it's, it has some ceremonial row so it's a little bit above accordion which has no ceremonial row um yeah i think that's the only thing that bagpipes is good for is the graduation <laughs> otherwise it's a pretty garbage instrument um okay bongos I think also D tier, or even actually bongos will be even below accordion. Yeah, bongos is another trash instrument. Um, oh god, I have people arguing with me. <laughs> if you're gonna argue with me, argue with me on Twitch chat, not on Discord because I'm not reading Discord. <laughs> um, bongos is like the Native American powwow kind of feeling, which I think is um a little bit like. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> oh no, timpani. I I do have timpani, but it's it's later. Timpani is uh not not up yet. Okay, cello. Cello would be S tier for me, um, because cello is in my opinion probably the best, the greatest string instrument. Okay, uh, even more so than violin. Um, like. They say that the cello sound is the closest to the human voice out of all the instruments. And I would actually agree with that. 
uh, because its range, when it gets to that middle section, it hits that really sweet spot. And at its lower range, it's also gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous too. Uh, it sounds really human. It sounds really beautiful. Yeah, it has a really good range, as Juice says. Extremely expressive. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm a huge fan of the cello. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, like every time, like cello, and it, it's so versatile too. Like in an orchestra, cellos provide the main backbone of the string section. You know, like that's like the violins, they usually carry the melody in an orchestra, but then cellos, without the cello, like the orchestra would not sound nearly as good. Okay. Um, okay, so the clarinet. <laughs> so I actually, I used to play clarinet. Like, besides piano, that's one of the other instruments that I know how to play. Uh, but I don't think it's that great of an instrument. <laughs> I think C tier or maybe low B tier. Nah, C tier, because I definitely can't put it above bassoon. <laughs> Sammy says um, clarinet is F tier. It's not F tier, because clarinet is a real instrument, you know? Compared to the guys below C... <laughs> Compared to the D tier instruments and below, clarinet is like a real instrument, you know, and it has a role in the orchestra. <laughs> it plays a role in providing like a lot of that middle ground for the woman section. And so I think clarinet is, <laughs> yeah, it, it's not that great. Like by itself, it sounds kind of boring, but um, it unfortunately gets relegated to support roles too often, but it's definitely not like below C. So, yeah, I think C is good. All right, cowbell, um, F tier. <laughs> I mean, jokes aside, cowbell is just a troll instrument. <laughs> like, I've never heard it used in any kind of meaningful capacity that's not for parody purposes. So, yeah, there's no way I'm putting it above F. <laughs> okay, symbols. Um, symbols, I would actually put in B tier. Okay, so like because it's a percussion instrument, like percussion instruments are limited in their range, of course, they only have one sound, right? So I'm not gonna like fault it for not being able to play like multiple pitches or not being able to like, you know, have like a scene songy kind of like more musical feel, right? Percussion instrument is just for purposes of providing that percussion. Uh, and then Fro is saying cymbal over clarinet. The thing is, you know, I feel like cymbal for the role that it plays is super important, you know? And it's also a little bit versatile in that you can convert it to like a hi-hat, you know? Um, but um, for the role it plays in the orchestra, like cymbal has that big clash that you need when you need it, you know? Uh, whereas clarinet, it just gets drowned out. <laughs> <laughs> so Fro is upset about this. <laughs> I um look, F Fro, like we're comparing it to its other like woodwinds for clarinet, you gotta compare it to the other woodwinds. And then for cymbals, you gotta compare it to the other percussion. You know, you can't compare like cymbals to clarinet in the sense that they're not like directly correlated, you know? Um Clarinet is not the best woman. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. Clarinet is not. As a clarinetist myself, I would ha I would choose other women's over clarinets. All right. We got a big clarinet fanboy in the chat. <laughs> okay, so this one is electric guitar. Uh, I would put electric guitar at B tier as well. Um, in fact, I will put it above cymbal. Okay. And the reason for that is because... Um, like sim uh sorry electric guitar is really important in rock history you know and it definitely changed the world um with amplifier of course uh from acoustic guitar and made like it basically made rock bands like the powerhouse back in like the 50s to like the 80s so electric guitar has that huge role in that it was the basically the instrument of choice for a lot of these um you know, contemporary genres from the, you know, after World War II. And I think, you know, its importance cannot be understated. <laughs> and I definitely put it above bass guitar because, you know, you can have a band with just electric guitars, but you cannot have a band with just bass guitars. <laughs> uh, and a host of other reasons. Like, you can shred on it, you can do, like, so much distortion and awesome metal, metal heavy metal effects, you know? So, yeah. Um... Yeah, I know Davey 504 is going to be mad. Uh, but honestly, <laughs> honestly, the bass is just not that great. <laughs> like, it's it's really not. Um, 
but it's good that he's out there fighting for the base. You know, we we need like at least one person to be fighting for the base. <laughs> but electric guitarists are everywhere, and they definitely have a. I just don't think that it's better than a bassoon. I don't know any kind of instrument that needs like amplification. I just can't put that high. You know, no offense. Because once you need amplification, you're like cheating. <laughs> it's like if I put, if I turn the bassoon and I put it through like an amplifier and then like added some distortion, I could probably get some like really crazy effects out of it too, you know? Um, okay, all right. Flute, uh, I would put an eight here. Okay, so this is what I mean by like will wins that are like really good. I think, actually, no, I will put flute in B tier. Um, Maybe I'll put it above bassoon. <laughs> flute is it's one of the better instruments, okay? It's not... It's definitely better than clarinet. And people are complaining, but... <laughs> like, honestly, a good flute section can really add to an orchestra. You know? Okay, people are really disagreeing with me. Wow. Okay, just because your sister back in middle school or elementary school played flute and it sounded horrible does not mean does not mean that flute is a horrible instrument okay <laughs> flute is like it's like one of those instruments where it makes the woodwind section just totally come to life you know imagine a woodwind section without flutes right uh you would miss a lot of that breathiness you would miss a lot of that uh beauty in the higher ranges i mean i guess piccolo kind of covers some of that but flute has more of that body which piccolo cannot replicate you know um and that's why you know composers when they write for orchestras they always include like a lot of flute like runs and trills and stuff that makes the whole orchestra sound like it's like part of like a dancing garden kind of feeling so yeah i would give flute a um just because of its importance in the orchestra. I, personally, I think solo by itself, the flute sounds a little bit um, too uh, harsh and too, a little bit nauseous for me. Okay, cool. French horn. Um, I would probably put in A tier. Above trumpet. <laughs> um, French horn is like one of those instruments that like, it, you don't usually need the French horn. But when you do need it, there's only one instrument in the entire orchestra that can fulfill that role. And that is the French horn, you know, like for that epic kind of like, you know, epic uh, planetary Jupiter vibe, you know, in Mars, of course, I'm sorry, in Jupiter, we have that, you know, famous French horn solo. Um, and then when it comes through, you only need one French horn, honestly, to make the entire orchestra a much more dynamic and beautiful uh, section for that epic moment <laughs> that no other instrument can fulfill. French horn will do the job. <laughs> so A tier is, uh, is good, I think. Yeah, Fro agrees with me on this one. <laughs> Literally every John Williams piece. There you go. And that might be why I love it so much because John Williams loves using French horn as well. Uh, yeah, composers, they have to do a good job using it, you know, because you can easily misuse a French horn and then it will sound like complete garbage. <laughs> like if you give it the wrong melody, the French horn will not do well. Um, okay, so acoustic guitar, I think I would put in A tier as well. Okay, above electric guitar. And the reason is because acoustic guitar is... Um, has been around for like centuries almost it's it's one of the oldest instruments you know um i mean acoustic guitar being like you know like uh you know like a plucked string instrument right um it's just it's so versatile you can do it in campfire settings or on the stage for all singers all acoustic all singers need an acoustic guitar so actually i will even put it above i would even put it should i put it above french horn yeah, I will put it above French horn just because it's so versatile and it gets used in so many situations. I don't know if I will put it in S tier though. That's the thing. Like, I don't know if I will put acoustic guitar in S tier because, um, because I I know like because like, I think S tier should be reserved for like a truly special instrument, and I think uh, acoustic guitar just falls flat before the S tier. Okay. And it's not too used in like orchestral or classical music settings. 
So I feel like as an instrument itself, it's usually used for backing, you know, backing an instrument, backing a vocalist, backing a band kind of feel. And so that's why you can't put it in S tier because it cannot carry the conversation as well as the S tier instruments. Okay. All right. Harmonica, <laughs> another joke instrument, a meme instrument, really. Uh, I don't know if I should put it in E tier or, or F tier. Um, maybe a E tier below accordion. Um, it's like that child kind of toy kind of feeling, which is um, a little bit. Yeah, people agree with me. F or E tier. Yeah, it's just it's just it's a joke. You know, it's a it's a meme. It's a parody. I mean, some people are good at it, but overall, it just sounds like whatever. <laughs> okay. Whew. Um, all right, I'm going to do one more and I'm going to take a quick break and then we're going to continue this. So harp, I think, is A tier for sure. Uh, a harp is maybe high B tier. I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, we got a lot of harp fam, fam people inside the... I mean, harp is one of the most beautiful instruments, right? But it's so, like, cumbersome. It's just, like, this big, gigantic thing that you have to pluck. And you cannot do that much with the harp besides, like, you know, the really beautiful ceremonial kind of stuff, you know? Um, I literally just put harmonica in E tier, so... <laughs> no, I would say... Cello is more versatile than the harp. Um, yeah, I, I think A tier is fine because it is a beautiful instrument. It's very good for like um, that kind of like, you know, like when you need a harp, the harp is gorgeous. It's one of the most gorgeous instruments. But I, I don't think I could put it above even trumpet, you know, because trumpet has that more epic vibe that harp can never pull off. I mean, it's a, it's a close match. Like, as long as they're on that A tier, they're all, like, pretty similar, you know? Um, what I think about Melodica, <laughs> uh, it's not on this list, but I will probably put it on the F tier <laughs> because Melodica is, like, a like a horrific um, corruption of what a piano should be. Fantasy music, yeah, like, okay, fine. Like, there's, like, a lot of fantasy music, like, video game music uses harp a lot for, like, really that kind of, like, netherly, nether kind of magical feeling, right? Like, I used to listen to World of... I used to, um, like, uh, the... I used to play World of Warcraft, right? And one of my favorite melodies, um, was the Ashen Veil vale theme, which... You can hear that harp. You can hear that harp, you know? You can hear that, like, harp in the background, you see? That's just so nice. It's so... Yeah, so I, I love that, um, you know, that, that element of harp music. But I can't, I just can't put it in S tier. Okay, Maracas, here we go. Maracas is a, uh... It's another joke instrument, <laughs> to be honest. I can't even put it above bongos because at least bongos has like a more, like at least bongo sounds like a good, like drum kind of sound. Whereas maracas is like, it's like, like you could replace that with like any shaker. It, it's, it's a joke. <laughs> um, oboe. Okay, so oboe I think is probably the number one woodwind instrument um and i would probably put it really high like probably an a tier um <laughs> maracas have no purpose yeah i agree with you guys oh yeah i didn't put bass clarinet on here um that's that's okay bass clarinet is like it's it's like a if i were to rank bass clarinet i would probably put it in C tier with the clarinet, like I feel like both have their role in the orchestra, but yeah, I wouldn't put it that high. <laughs> okay, for oboe though, oboe is in my opinion the best woodwind instrument. I'll tell you guys why. Like, oboe is um, 
it's the quintess it's the quintessential woven instrument okay it has that reedy vibe it has that like really soulful uh voice like kind of sing-songy effect that's a different than the different timbre than the strings right so that really uh tonal quality of the oboe just shines through in an orchestral setting and it's gorgeous like if it has the solo it really dominates like it has a beautiful sound and every time i hear a decently placed oboe solo i'm always like ah like that just that's just perfect you know it really hits the spot um i don't know if i could put it above trumpet though or french horn just because of like the fact that the oboe is not the most important instrument in like a orchestral setting you know it doesn't like it doesn't quite... I mean, it's good. It's already A tier, you know? It's definitely the best will win, but it's not, like, the best. It's not, like, better than the guys above it. <laughs> so, I think, you know, A tier, right where it is, is, you know... Um, yeah, definitely the best will win instrument. <laughs> Poor clarinet gets shut down <laughs> by its basically younger and brighter, you know, sibling. <laughs> Uh, ocarina, uh, another joke instrument that barely is above harmonica, I think. Yeah, barely above harmonica, below accordion. <laughs> yeah, I might do a composer tier list at some point. <laughs> people are getting offended. I, if I did a composer p tier list, people will get so offended. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by like the reaction inside of like freaking Discord, um, <laughs> if I did a composer tier list, the amount of offense would be uh, astronomical, <laughs> especially for the atonal lists. Uh, anyways, moving on. Yeah, ocarina is like one of those uh, garbage instruments that kind of like, you know, it kind of like it's like why do you exist if except to be a meme. Uh, or like the title of a Zelda game. <laughs> uh, besides that, yeah, Ocarina is pretty non-important. <laughs> All right, pan flute. That's like a Native American thing, so I can't. I can only put it like also in E tier. It's just. Uh, I mean, maybe I'll put it up. Actually, you know what? It sounds decent. It sounds better than Ocarina, so I'll put it above. Um, that. Okay, people are complaining. I mean, look, if if a f like pan flute is a flute that has less versatility, you know, pan like a flute itself is the same as a pan flute, but has much more um, dynamic range, you know. Um, yeah, pan flute is a. It's just not <laughs> minimum D tier. Okay, fine. <laughs> um <laughs> all right i'll I'll give that to you guys fine d tier whatever it's it's still pretty bad okay here we go piano <laughs> obviously piano is the number one instrument um in the world and nothing anyone can say will change my mind about the piano <laughs> um piano is the a god of all instruments. It's the king of all instruments. There is no instrument that can touch it in terms of versatility, solo, uh, role inside of any kind of musical kind of function, ceremonial function. Like it hits all the spots. It's the number. It's by far the best instrument. Um, like actually, I should have like an S plus tier above and that's where the piano should be but i didn't add that here but yeah uh like compared to organ for example organ is like a bigger piano sometimes people might say that but organ has so much less versatility than the piano uh, in terms of being able to play like percussiveness uh play melodic stuff um like piano can harmonize itself it can give itself polyphony um <laughs> it's yeah agree with fro like it, it should be its own rank yeah piano is the best <laughs> it can it can do like really soft stuff really melodic stuff the only thing it cannot do is like the um aftertouch which is like you know 
if you like have a violin and you can like change the range of it after you play the note. But what that what you don't have in that sense, you cover up in every other way. Like you have the way of, you know, providing your own harmony, your own, um, you know, accompaniment. <laughs> it's the best instrument for loners or people who want to just stick to themselves. Um, and just think about like how powerful it is that the piano can express a full musical expression with just one person. Because like, okay, the human voice, I would say is like the most, um, is the most like, you know, uh, it's the most, like the human voice is probably the most powerful instrument. Like, you know, the human voice, actually, I don't even have it on here because I didn't consider it an instrument. But like, human voice is probably like the best way of communicating music, but you need at least like some help for the human voice. You know, you need a good, give it a guitar or a piano or, you know, a choir. But a piano by itself can express a musical endeavor without needing any help. So that means that your entire emotional range of your communication is limited to just one person, which makes it so that it's like a more heartfelt interaction. Because once you introduce more people and you have multiple visions, then then the the um the purity of the message gets lost when you have like multiple cooks in the kitchen, you know. Uh, whereas if you just have a pianist, you can you can emit that deep meaning within your heart without having any kind of outside interference. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Yeah, that was a that was a huge rant. Cause come on, like there's not many people talking about the piano. Pianists on on average tend to be a little bit more humbler than other um, instrumentalists. Um, especially like instruments down here, like they're really easy to play. So people who play them well think that like they're the shit. <laughs> Whereas like piano is like one of the probably the most in difficult instrument to play. So that's why all pianists are a little bit more modest, you know? Um, and because we're modest, we're not like going out there into the world and bragging about the piano like other instrumentalists. <clears throat> okay, so um, yeah, that's that's a good, um, good overview of the piano. All right, so piccolo. Uh, piccolo is... Uh, I would say it's probably around the bassoon area. Like, it's it's okay. Like, you know, yeah. <laughs> Piano is the easiest instrument to learn, but the hardest to master. That's absolutely true. Um, yeah, and I would fight anyone who wants to disagree with that, <laughs> and just totally destroy them because they they would have no argument. Uh, okay, so piccolo, I wouldn't say is above. Okay, I wouldn't say it's above electric guitar either. I would say it's below cymbal. Just because like flute fulfills most of the roles that piccolo does, but piccolo is not as important as the flute. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it in C tier. <laughs> Still above clarinet. Uh, but yeah, it's it's. I feel like flute is just um, better than piccolo in most functions, and piccolo is just like a higher pitch flute, basically. Okay, recorder. Uh, this is like the instrument that everyone learns in like elementary school, so <laughs> it's not <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> um, and I know like two said they offended the viol they uh, two said they offended the recorder gang when they said it, but I mean I think I agree with them. It's a recorder is a pretty garbage instrument, you know. Um, it's like. It's like the flute, it's like the woodwind that wishes it were a real woodwind, but it's like a baby woodwind, you know? It's it's like the cross between an oboe and a flute and a clarinet, and like, it just doesn't work. It's, there's no need for the recorder. <laughs> okay, saxophone. Um, There's actually a lot of saxophones. There's like a tenor and an alto, but I, I'm, I'm not gonna get into those details. Uh, I think saxophone is a decent instrument for jazz situations for a, cla a big big band. Uh, I know it's not used in orchestras, but it's still a really effective instrument at what it does. So I think I might put it in high B tier. Yeah, I don't think I will put it in A tier because <laughs> Fro really doesn't like <laughs> the saxophone. Okay, 
hear me out. Like, I think the saxophone, like, if you have heard a good saxophone solo, like, it's actually really effective, you know? And it's very dynamic. It's very interesting. Um, and so, and saxophones are really good at, like, I don't know, like jazz settings or big band kind of settings. You know, they have a very important role in those settings. Uh, and then there's like the sexy sax solo. Um, and it's a really loud, it's a really loud sound too, which is probably why like some people don't like it. But I think it's really good at like, comp- okay, fine. I wouldn't put it above flute. Maybe, maybe, okay, maybe after your electric guitar. Still B tier, but like I wouldn't put it below B tier. I don't think it's as I don't think it's as bad as piccolo and clarinet, you know, because um, those guys really get overshadowed. Whereas saxophone usually, like, if it has a good role to play, it is the star and it can carry a show. It can carry a good solo, you know. All right, tambourine. Uh, tambourine's a little bit better than some of these other guys, but not by much. So I would, I would put it above pan flute. I think. Yeah, like barely above pan flute, like around bagpipes. Yeah, D tier. <laughs> yeah, I think like D tier is appropriate for tambourine. It's like, it's good for a very specific function. Like if you need that tambourine sound, then it's good. But usually you don't need that sound. <laughs> it's a little bit like kind of like that campfire feeling. Um, where, you know, it's not very serious, and so if you're just chilling by the campfire, then it's a good instrument. It's a good uh, thing to shake around and stuff. All right, triangle. (laughs) Um, I would say F tier. Like, I don't even know why triangle needs to be a thing. It just, it's a, it's good for, like, um, it's good for, um, (laughs) <laughs> for like 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 one sound and 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 if you're like if you're like a professional triangulist then like you need help <laughs> you, you know because you've been doing so you're not like no one will take you seriously if you go up to someone's like oh i play triangle <laughs> it's not it's good for a triangle pyramid yeah um okay fro you, I mean, a tambourine, at least you can play a tambourine, like, you can have, like, a percussive kind of beat, you know, like a thing. But a triangle, you can't even do that. You just play one triangle sound at, like, the most random moments during an orchestral piece. It's like when the composer's like, okay, I've already exhausted my full range of percussion sounds. What sound have I not used yet? Oh, right, the triangle. Let me put in one of these. Dings. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, I I can't I can't put triangle that high, you know. Okay, fine. Maybe I'll put it above recorder, just because it's a like it's it's still like a real thing. Like a recorder is not even like a real thing. So I don't know. It, it's 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 really bad. <laughs> okay, trombone. <laughs> trombone, I would say is high B tier or low A tier. Uh, high B tier. Yeah, I would put it basically after the bassoon. Yeah. I will put trombone in B tier after the bassoon. Um, oh, really? Does the Star Wars main theme use the triangle? I actually did not know that the Star Wars main theme... Hold on a second. Let's pull it up real quick. Star Wars main theme. I, I, I don't recall hearing the triangle. Is that the triangle? That's the chimes, no? Okay, is that a triangle? That's a triangle that was being that that you hear. Oh wow. Okay then, that's a cool sound. All right, I'm gonna put it a slightly above Alcarina then. <laughs> that triangleist was practicing his entire life for that one moment. <laughs> uh, but honestly, just because it could pull off that sound and be utilized by John Williams in an effective way does not make it better because that sound, that clean kind of like sound at the top could be replicated by like a lot of other things too. You know, it's not a very special sound. (laughs) 
<laughs> okay, trombone. Um, yeah, trombone is like B tier. Um, it's not. Com- it's 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 really good for fulfilling its role in like the brass section, providing some of that oomph to the brass section, and it's more dynamic than the tuba. That's for sure. But it cannot compare to the trumpet in terms of importance. Um, and then, so I would say that it's a solid B tier, uh, a, a, above electric guitar, just because it does not need amplification. You know, like I think trombone is really important. Um, yeah, second favorite bass instrument. Yeah, <laughs> second. <laughs> oh yeah, I put in two of these trumpets. That's okay. Um, okay, so tuba. Tuba, I think, is C tier. Maybe even D tier. Yeah, I would put tuba in D tier, below bass guitar. So give give Davey 504 a little bit some kind of credit, because at least it's better than the tuba. Tuba is like this... What do you mean? What am I doing with my hand? I'm just <laughs> putting it under my shirt sometimes. <laughs> um yeah tuba is like it's like this it's like the the big kid that no one likes um <laughs> at like a family gathering <laughs> like the it's like that one like the awkward kind of guy that just like cannot make much noise but when he does talk everyone's like okay like we heard it's like okay we wanted to hear you for like five seconds and now we're done <laughs> It's the yeah, it's the fat kid that nobody likes. I mean, I'm sorry, like it's just not that great of a sound. It's a very low sound, and it has a certain role in like big band settings, big band. But as a soloist or as even like a uh, part of like a smaller ensemble, it just does not work. Like you don't need it, you know. I mean, it's a great instrument for marching bands because you want to show off how much brass you have. So definitely, you got the most brass out of everyone else. <laughs> Uh, doesn't mean that you have to work harder than everyone else. Um, yeah, low jazz. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's so cumbersome to play, you know, and it just does not sound that great, you know? And when you do hear it, you can't really tell what notes it's playing, even though you do have a pitch, right? So you really have to... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so, yeah, D tier is pretty relevant. Uh, okay, so this is the ukulele. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can put ukulele that high. I can barely put it above bagpipes, I think. Actually, I'll put it above tuba. Uh, would I put it above bass guitar? Nah, I wouldn't put I wouldn't put ukulele above bass guitar. Just because bass guitar actually has a role in like a lot of like in in like the rock band situations whereas ukulele is only really utilized for um the indie kind of like campfire feeling the folksy song kind of feeling and i think that's it's like a guitar that's not fully grown you know it's like full it's like an immature guitar so if i already have like electric if i have acoustic guitar already then the ukulele's role is so like limited you know, besides Ed Sheeran, like, or not Ed Sheeran, but like, you know, that kind of like Taylor Swift kind of song, which, you know, which sometimes uses the ukulele, but overall, it's just not that amazing. Yeah. Uh, ukulele's epic sounding, says Simply Mints. I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't think it's as epic as the acoustic guitar, you know? Like, ukulele is, like, one of those instruments where you pull out when you're chilling with your friends, and it's, like, the perfect instrument for that, you know? But besides that, it's not needed for, like, a real... Like, because we're, we're, we're trying to be serious here, right? We're trying, to, we're trying to focus on, like, serious music. And so, yeah, in the realm of serious music, ukulele does not go very far. Okay. Um... Uh, uh, upright bass. Uh, <laughs> I will put it above electric bass. Uh, above, yeah, bass guitar. Just because upright bass is good. It's a natural sound. And it's good for jazz settings. Um, 
I can't really tell what it's doing half the time because like, you know, people are walking to bass all the time and then it's just like a bunch of low notes. But <laughs> Yeah, you said high D, so I put it high D. That's that's where I put it. <laughs> okay, so C upright bass, I think it, it's better than bass guitar, but not by much. I don't know. Uh they're both pretty boring. They're both pretty average. Upright bass just, you know, it has that cool factor. It's like a big, cool instrument, you know? So I would say if I were to say like, okay, who would I rather see on stage? A bass guitarist or a bass or an upright bass? I would rather see an upright bass just because it's like if someone's whip, like lugging around a gigantic upright bass, which I think is the biggest orchestral instrument, then... I'm impressed. Like, I'm impressed that their dedication <laughs> uh, to their craft. Um, and that's about it. That's the only reason I put it above electric bass. All right, viola. Uh, <laughs> viola. I mean, I guess, like, upright bass will be, like, double bass in a, um orchestral setting, you know? And double basses are pretty important, you know? So... Yeah, but I, I think it's fine where it is. Okay, so viola, I will put in, I will put at the highest D tier. I will put above bass. <laughs> okay, you guys really hate viola, huh? I, <laughs> I can't put it below any of the meme instruments because even though Two Set made viola a meme, the viola is actually not a meme instrument. It's actually a serious instrument. That being said, it is definitely the weakest of all the string instruments. <laughs> like, it's... Uh, no, I can't put bagpipes in C tier. Bagpipes is... It's, it's such a limited instrument. It can only perform one thing. And that's graduations. Like, it doesn't do anything else. <laughs> um, violas, like, it's a real instrument. It's a it's it's super important for string quartets, you know, obviously, even though it's like the least important in the string quartet, but it's still needed um, to bridge the gap between violin and cello. And, you know, it's just it's it's not a joke, but it is true that violists are just rejected violinists. So <laughs> that's the cold hearts truth that if you couldn't make it into the orchestra as a viol violinist, then you probably had to pick up a viola <laughs> so that is the unfortunate life of a violist um and they usually get shafted on all of the orchestral parts that composers are writing because they composers are just like okay well uh what do we put for the violists i don't know let's just double the second violin <laughs> or double the cello or something like just not you know make it do something that's like and forget about it you know Okay, so, all right, violin. Violin, I would put in a uh, uh, S tier, S tier, S tier, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, violin is one of the most in important instruments in the orchestra, if not the most important. It's, but, okay, so, so I, I don't need to go into why violin is important or why violin S tier, because I think everyone knows, but I want to tell you guys why I think it's below cello. Okay, because I think that distinction is interesting. Uh, because I think violin, uh, even though you have the most violinists in an orchestra and a full-blown violin section is extremely beautiful, I think the cello is, in my opinion, more beautiful than the violin. Okay, just based on its sound. Like, the, tim the timbre of the violin, the cello, is more soulful than the violin. And the, the violin, although, you know, if played well, can be really soulful as well. But I think the violin at its higher ranges sounds a little bit too, like, sharp, too metallic, you know? And I think that sound is a little bit too grating if in a solo setting, you know? Whereas, you know, in, if there's a bunch of violins and they're all working together to produce, like, this big cascade of sounds, then it sounds really cool. But with just violin, you're not going to do that much. And you do sound a little bit cheesy. And unfortunately, because, you know, string, 
players they they're not always 100% on tune because you know they kind of have to hear it with their with their head with their ears that means that the violin frequently has like these higher pitched notes that sound a little bit off and that gets to you after a certain point like whereas the cello because it's mostly in the lower ranges the cello like kind of variations in pitch is not as noticeable whereas in the violin because like at the higher levels of the violin strings like just one slight millimeter movement of your finger to the wrong section and your pitch literally shifts by like you know like a hundred hertz you know in terms of the you know the 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 frequency range right the pitch range and so your sound even though it's kind of close to the harmonics of the note that you were aiming for it's not going to be on tune that much because of how limited of space you have to work with and so that's why the violin at the higher ranges usually cannot play 100% on tune very effectively and then it comes up with like the sound that is not very pleasant okay that was a rant but that was um I think I think that needed to be said. <laughs> Why I will put it below cello, but it's still S tier instrument. <laughs> All right, so I know people disagree with me, but I think you know, I think um, I think it's a fair rating. Okay, so xylophone. Um, xylophone is a percussion instrument, obviously, and it's uh, I would say it's a D tier. Should I put it above accordion? Yeah, it's it's above E tier, but low D tier. <laughs> Xylophone, it's like a it's like a keyboard that tried to be a keyboard, but then was like, ah, oh, fuck it, like I'll just be a xyl xylophone instead. <laughs> um, and then like you know, playing the playing the xylophone looks really cumbersome because they have to like have these mallets and stuff, and then it just looks really stupid. And then even though they can play like really fancy stuff, but it's just. Yeah, it's just not that important, you know? It's it's like one of those instruments. <laughs> accordion is better, <laughs> says Sammy. <sighs> but accordion is a joke, you know? Xylophone is not... It's, it's kind of a joke, but it's not as much of a joke as accordion is. So I can't. I can't put it below accordion. In fact, I would even put it above pan flute because pan flute is kind of a joke too. Yeah. All right, I will, I will put it below backpipes. Above tambourine. Yeah, that seems that seems fair to me. Okay. The xylophone is the top of the E tier. The other idiophones are better. Okay, I don't have any of the other idiophones on here, like marimba or something, right? Or I don't know what the other phones are called. Mellophone. <laughs> but um yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of those, you know. Let's just use xylophone as like a representation of all of the malleted uh, percussion instruments because uh, the pitched malleted instruments, you know, um, I, I honestly don't think any of them are that strong, you know, um, it's basically to give the percussionists something to do while they're waiting for their next sim cymbal hit, you know, <laughs> okay, timpani, timpani, yes, timpani is the best percussion instrument by far, um, definitely a tier uh or high b tier because timpani vibraphone i have not heard the vibraphone <laughs> no actually what does the vibraphone sound like let's just look it up really quickly because i actually don't know okay that's just a that's just a xylophone but like more metallic <laughs> bowed vibraphone what Duh. Okay, this is a thing. Okay. That's a cool sound. Yeah. Okay, that's a dope ass sound. I I mean, I gotta admit, that's a really cool sound but i think i think uh it just doesn't i mean it's like it's so limited like you have to like you have to like pull your bowl like this and you can only do one at a time and it's just so like clumsy you know um it just seems very one use kind of feel which doesn't 
you know, doesn't really lend itself to like more complicated stuff, you know? So it's good for that cool effect, like that Hans Zimmer interstellar effect when you need it, but like it's not, uh, it's just not that great. It's very beautiful though, I, I have to admit. Um, okay, so timpani, right? Why timpani S uh, A tier is because, you know, timpani is definitely the most dynamic of the percussion instruments. Most, uh, like it can be really soft, it can be really loud, it can provide that epic driving force, it can do that war kind of cinematic feeling, it can, it just adds so much to a orchestra, you know? Like without a timpani, the orchestra is a much less powerful force, you know? Because when you need that percussive element, the timpani hits the spot so well. Um, and because like, you know, you can actually pitch to each of the timpanis, you can have like multiple pitches. So then the timpani makes it so that you can have that driving, dum, 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 you know, in all of these orchestral scores is so important. And then you, when you, we need that, we need that big roll, like dun, 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 then the timpani fulfills that as well. I guess like the snare drum also, I, I didn't include like the snare drum or kick drum, which I probably should. Uh, but it's okay. I think this this is a long enough instrument list. Um, but yeah, in a, in an orchestral setting, timpani is just phenomenal. Um, timpani is not a meme. I don't know why you think timpani is the meme. It's I don't think it's as meme of an instrument as these other instruments that are memes. You know. Okay. Cool. Uh, organ. Hmm organ um i think i would put it above symbols no actually no yeah i will put it below electric guitar i think that's a good place to put it it's b tier um i don't think organ is wow you guys hate d tier uh, hate organ Why would you Fafa, why would you say below ukulele and bass? Like that's really low. <laughs> Cause ukulele is fucking low. Um Organ like the thing is the organ it's not as versatile as a lot of instruments, but it's really powerful in the sense that when you need that big churchy cathedral vibe, like interstellar vibe then <laughs> Lionel, watch your language. Oh, shut up. <laughs> um, no, accordion cannot do more than the organ. That doesn't make... That's, 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 that's BS. Organ is... Like, I know I was trashing on the organ for being like a second tier piano, but I don't think it's to the level of the D tier guys. Or even the C tier guys, because the organ, when it's needed, when it's you, <laughs> when I'm needed, <laughs> um, wh when the organ is needed, it's phenomenal. Like it covers a lot of harmonic range, obviously, and it um, it does have like a lot of power. You know, a single organ can drive an entire solo, even though it's not the most interesting solo to listen to, but it's still a powerful sound. But I think the organ definitely has more uh, prestige. I guess prestige would be a good word or like seriousness than some of the lower tier instruments, you know? Um, like if you see someone playing the organ, you're not going to walk by. You're like, you're going to stand there and you're going to listen to them because organ is it's like so rare too to see someone playing the organ because of how big it is and how like... Well, I guess fine. Like the size doesn't really shouldn't play a factor, but I don't know. I think it's a it's a it's a good instrument for the beat here. You know, why is the electric guitar next? Not next to the acoustic. Uh, the reason is because I think that any instrument that requires amplification just automatically should get a little bit less. Uh, even though electric guitar is super important in music history, but because like the amplification aspect, um. It makes it so that, like, the electric guitar by itself is really weak sound. You need the amp. You need the distortion. You, you need the effects, you know? 
But then once you start adding in those effects, then you're basically cheating. It's like you're using steroids, you know? Uh, like, because, um, you know, like with, you know, modern music production, you can put on any number of effects onto an instrument and you can make it sound different. But yeah, I think this is a good list, honestly, because piano. Okay, so let's go over all the, all the instruments. Okay. Starting from the bottom, a cowbell. Worst instrument, <laughs> most joke. Maracas, ETR, recorder, bongos, harmonica, ocarina, triangle, accordion, D tier, pan flute, tambourine, xylophone, bagpipes, tuba, ukulele, bass guitar, viola, C tier, upright bass, clarinet, piccolo, B tier, cymbals, saxophone, organ, electric guitar, Trombone, bassoon, flute, A tier, timpani, harp, oboe, trumpet, French horn, acoustic guitar, and S tier, violin, cello, and piano. Dun, dun, dun. And yeah, that's what I think is, I think it's, it's a good list. But honestly, piano should be above, should, piano should be in S plus, you know, it's, above every instrument like it's not even a like the distance between piano and cello is the distance between cello and cowbell okay that's what i want to say like that's <laughs> that is the difference of that is how much cello, uh, piano dominates every instrument um yeah okay fine maybe maybe cello to um to bass guitar, <laughs> not cowbell, because cowbell is just, oh, that's, that, that's, that might be too much. But yeah, piano is above cello, which is the second highest instrument, at the same range as cello is above bass guitar, okay? I think that's, that's what I would say.